welcome for this session in this session we are going to be simulate a characteristics of permanent magnet motor let us start to design the network so first we need a DC source so you can take in a DC source by searching in this library itself the value of the DC source is going to be the 300 then I need an universal bridge universal bridge so basically this universal bridge which is going to be present with the, with the help of a diode so double click this block and the number of bridge arms is going to be 3 and here the snubber resistance value is going to be 5000 and the capacitance value is going to be 1 microfarad and here the power tonic device which is present here is a thyristor change this thyristor into a MOSFET then the internal ohm resistance is going to be in the same value which is presented just apply it and put OK. Now uh, rotate this universal bridge uh, for our simplification of connections. Just I am going to be tilt this uh, universal bridge because your input is going to be in a DC, your output is going to be in an AC which is going to be presented. So for that I am going to be tilt this universal bridge. So in shortcut manner, control I. Okay, if you press control I means it is going to be tilt it will be presented so that is plus minus will be an input and uh, a b c that is r y b is then a uh, three phases will be presented and a gate pulse for an a uh, six MOSFET which is presented inside here for an each and every MOSFET a gate pulse is going to be given in this port only okay then we will go for a permanent magnet motor so just you can search in this library permanent magnet machine yeah this is a permanent magnet machine so in this machine so directly you can connect the current port that is R Y B that is A B C which is presented here and the torque is going to be an input so double click this permanent magnet machine uh, port so your number of phase is going to be in a three phase and here uh, you have to choose a back EMF. Uh, I'm going to be choosing a back EMF is in a trapezoidal manner. Then the changes which is presented here is an internal ohm resistor uh, based on based upon some designing networks that I have been changing that internal ohm resistance. That is a standard value that I am going to be taken here based upon that design which have been made in a designing electrical apparatus. Your internal ohm resistance is 2.8750 and the inductance value is going to be in the same value which is going to be presented. The flux linkage, change this flux linkage into a 0.175 and then your uh, inertia poles and uh, pole pairs. So those values that I am going to be change here. So just clearly more, uh, see here the first one is going to be in a space then enter 0 0.8 e minus 3 comma again space 1 e minus 3 space 4 okay that's all so this is the values and no need to change in advanced things just apply it and press ok and now after that so you can also connect it here this positive terminal of your DC source is connected to the positive terminal of your input of your universal bridge and negative terminal is connected to your uh, to an universal bridge so this is going to be in a DC source DC voltage source I am going to be present in this left hand side manner yeah now it is going to be working very smart and then <clears throat> now um, 
we are going to be taken output parameters this is uh, in this m is going to be mentioned for is uh, the parameters that we can able to be measure this is a measurement port i am going to be taken a measurement port as in a reference from this reference i am going to be given a feedback to an uh, input so based upon that uh, reference value the gate is going to be generated so for that to take an um, measurement port i am going to be pre use here is bus selector here is a bus selectors so connect this measurement port to this bus selector let's see what are all the sessions uh, parameters will be present in this uh, permanent magnet motors you can see here uh, stator current of uh, a b c that is r y b stator current and then um, internal currents also will be present as a dq axis according to the dq axis dc to dc converter things and hall effect signals also which is presented rotor speed rotor angles and then electromagnetic torque so these are the components which can able to be measured with the help of that measurement ports so now i am going to be taken as a reference things i am going to be taken a hall effect which is going to be taken as my reference based upon this hall effect signal i am going to be generate a pulse so for that i am choosing that first one is hall effect signal to a and again b all effect signal c so these are the three outputs that we are going to be get from the bus selector one just apply it and put okay now we can see this is there is an three terminal which is presented here in that output you can see here clearly yeah so this is going to be an bus selector in this bus selector you can, there is an three output terminal which is presented right now here okay and then um what i'm going to be do here is now this is a simple connections which is presented here so in this connections we are going to be given a gate pulse so for here uh, to given a gate pulse separately you can given a six uh, pulse generator then you can trigger this universal bridge to given a supply to your permanent magnet machine so now i am going to be given a efficient manner for that i am going to be taken as a feedback signal this feedback signal which is going to be given to this um, gate signal okay so how it is going to be converted this is the last uh, uh, session itself that we have been uh, designed pulse with uh, modulation techniques that is sinusoidal pulse with modulation techniques so the same kind of um, network that now we are going to be design the air so for our simplification just i am going to be opening that uh, uh, previously we have been designed a three phase pwm inverter uh, if suppose you are not very well about this kind of uh, things means i will give an a uh, link to to do how to design this three phase pwm inverters the in the link will be presented in this uh, below itself you can take this there itself the link will be presented so now i am going to be take here is a uh, pwm generator so these things entirely that we need to design in that uh, uh, characteristics of permanent magnet workspace so for our simplification i am just i am going to be copy this okay i just i am going to be copy this control c the whatever may be the same things that are, we are going to be used and here control v just i am going to be paste here okay just drag those thing here okay fine i think it is visible right now is it right so yeah it is right now it is visible here so this is going to be a pwm generator that uh, in the previous uh, session itself we have been discussed how the pm generator is uh, generated in this uh, output port for an each and every tie resistors or uh, each and every mosfet which is present six pulse separately which have been generated so what the modification that you are going to be do here is and a simple modification that you are going to do so listen carefully first of all remove this go to signal so remove all the six go to signal okay 
then you send max then you send max so input of your max is going to be six input okay. input of your max is going to be in a six input and output is going to be in a single output which is going to be present so this is going to be in a max fine and now connect all those signals to your max so this is the first signal is connected to the first port and then a second signal which is connected to the second port third signal is to a third port and four to four fifth to five and then last signal which is connected to the last port of your max fine so this is the one changes that we have been done here so that is output side in that input side what we are going to be do so this is the sign wave that we have been given that is r phase y phase b phase there is a three phase angle difference that i have been given zero degree phase angle 120 degree phase angle and minus 120 degree phase angle so now what you are going to do so just remove this r phase okay now connect the first port to that replacement of your r phase fine is it clear then remove your y phase signal so remove your y phase signal connect the second port of your bus selector to a y phase signal okay it is not connected properly yeah now it is connected similarly remove your b phase signal connect your third port of your portion to a connection you can see here all effects and the generated signal A which is given as a positive signal and similarly B signal also is given to the positive and C signal also given to the positive terminal of your ad. The simple things just you are removed with a AC source and then we are giving an output from this motor as a given as an input to generate a pulse generator. Okay fine. Then next so this is your output so this output is should be given to your gate signal so for that i am going to be use an um, wireless connections that is i am going to be use here is out so just type out in that uh, library itself a symbolic representation will be there so the port of your output is going to be one so this output port should be given as an input to your gate signal so that i am now i am going to be use here is input that is in i n in okay this is out you can measure here this is out and this is going to be an in okay so just rotate those for our simple things so connect this to your gate signal that's all. simple things okay so this is a simple connections which have been presented here once again i am telling us a dc source a dc source is going to be an 300 voltage which is presented there an universal bridge which is made up of your MOSFET is going to be used as a switch and this is going to be a permanent magnet a machine and uh, to measure the values of your uh, parameters I have been used in bus selectors so from this uh, motor parameters itself I am going to be given to an input to generate a pulse signal based upon your motor performance I am going to be generate the pulse signal so this six pulse which is going to be given to the universal bridge that is in a six switches which is presented six MOSFET which is presented so here they have been given a pulse generator which is going to be given here so then what we have to do so I need to measure the speed values or uh, torque values so for that um, I'm going to be use that scope so before that I need to use another bus selector so just I'm simply copying this bus selector and uh, connect this bus selector also to your measurement port so now, now let us see what are all the things which is presented in this bus selector too so these are all the input which is going to be presented so what are all the output that I need means just to remove these Hall effect signals so if we need means you can use this Hall effect signal also to measure in that scope so I now removing it because so here itself I have been already used that scope which I have been presented in that previous uh, model itself so here we can see separately how the Hall effect signal which have been generated so now I am going to be 
use the scope to measure a speed value first time selecting the speed next time selecting the torque values okay these are the two parameters i'm going to be choose to select in the uh, scope uh, if you need any parameter means separately you can also select those things okay so you can see now so in this output port there is an, a two port only which is presented here from the bus selectors so let us connect this output to your scope okay so first of all i am going to be connect the scope so from the library i am searching the scope yeah i get the scope so just i am connecting the scope to the second terminal of your port okay then i am just copying the scope here so before connecting the speed i am going to be introducing a um, gain value so yeah so why i am connecting this gain means uh, this uh, speed which is going to be presented in uh, radian per second so your output of your motor speed which is presented in radian per second so to convert this radian per uh, second into a uh, newton meter uh, i am going to be using a gain value and uh, type it as uh, 30 divided by pi so to convert a, a radian into a uh, newton meter so type it as 30 divided by pi and just apply it okay now connect this gain value to your port okay so this is an a radians um, that is a rotor speed which is present in a radian per second you can see in this scope in that a newton meter okay so so here also you can for our simplification reference we can mark it as n capital letter n that is in rpm okay so here the torque which is we can see here in this torque in this scope we can see the torque value so, torque value which is in newton meter okay yeah i think it is very clear right now so just those things so now it is visible okay yeah it looks nice fine so this is going to be in a simple connections of an a characteristics of permanent magnet let us run this model so before that i will choose here So in this power guides changes into a uh, discrete model and then simulation model calculations set here in this solver method so it changes into a discrete okay so, so that's all now you can save this file in your uh, reference so i'm going to be save this file as per the name of this experiments that is characteristics of permanent magnet machine okay permanent magnet machine characteristics of permanent magnet machine okay fine so let us run this model and then we can check the speed values how the speed which is presented according to your input of your motors the characteristics of motor yes the model have been compiled so let's see the sp speed here uh, yeah. speed is zero which is presented here let's see what is the error which is presented view one warning what is the warning which is presented here input port one of your character machine is not connected okay fine it is not connected input port one this is going to be an input port so this input port which is not connected it is telling that let's check it whether carefully here yeah the main thing which have been 
we forgot it so let us connect those things so we here we told that the torque which has an input to your torque is um, for this motor we are using in a torque as an input either speed or mechanical rotor port also we can use an um, input for that machine so now i am using in a torque so for that i need to give in a torque value so i am going to be given a constant value for an torque okay so then i am going to be connecting here so now you save this model it is saving so then you can run this model yeah i think it is successfully run let's see the speed yes very good uh, the motor is started from zero point okay you can see here the motor is have been started from the zero position but it is exceeding the above 1500 rpm you can see here the speed which is presented here above 1500 rpm the speed is running okay and then we can see that uh, how that uh, hall effect generator is going to be generated let's see the hall effect signal from the motor we can see the hall effect signal from the motor also so it is generated in the pulse formation itself yes it is generated in the pulse formations you can see here uh, this is uh, you, you think this is an r phase y phase and b phase based upon this hall effect signal we can using an sr2 generator this is an sr2 generator for each and every phases which is going to be comparing and it is going to be uh, given an error signal to an each and every pulse so you can see here also in the scope it is clearly you can able to be visible here so if i am zooming here so this is which uh, have been taken for a uh, reference as one signal so okay so this yellow color which is presented here is going to be an uh, hall effect signal of an uh, a and then this is going to be a sort to generator this is going to be compare the error signal which is presented here and the pulse that is MOSFET 1 which is going to be get this kind of pulse signal and this is MOSFET uh, 2 which is going to be get this kind of pulse signal okay so this is an alternating pulse signal which is going to be uh, given to your universal bridge so let us do a uh, corrections in this uh, circuit diagram so why we need to do and some changes means you can see here the speed which is going to be passed on above 1500 rpm okay oh no problem so what you are going to be do means uh, uh, just now suppose just assume that you are going to be add a load to that particular uh, machine okay so i'm going to be add a load to a particular machine that is i'm going to be add in a three phase parallel load that I am going to be add here a few resistor load only that I am going to be add here just assume that yes, any value of your load I am going to be assume as in a 200 ohms of your resistance ok so input phase R that and Y and B similarly that is A B C and the output which is going to be commonly connected uh, to the ground right fine so this is going to be an uh, 200 ohms load which is the our R load which is going to be an yeah so now save this model let us run this model and then check your speed value how the changes which is presented before connecting your load and after connecting the load so let's check the speed value which is yes it is clear right now it is you can see here uh, it is ma nearly 1400 rpm you can see here this is 1500 which is present it is nearly 1400 rpm yes so exactly it is uh, running right now here it is clear so now the motor speed have been reduced that is whenever the motor is going to be added with the load so the speed is going to be get reduced so before the uh, load if your load is going to be zero means your speed is going to be get high speed which is presented 
when you are adding your uh, load to the motor means the speed is going to be get reduced okay it is very clearly you can able to be understand here you can see the exact value of this speed just zooming here you can see here uh, nearly 1410 so it is 1410 rpm so this is the speed of your permanent magnet motor okay fine so this is the simple characteristics of an uh, motor so you can also vary based upon your input voltage and based upon your load values the rpm is going to be varies that is the speed is going to be get vary fine so you can take a screenshot of this also so this is going to be a very simple program that is characteristics of permanent magnet motor okay thank you so if you need uh, any um, modifications means that is if you are going to be do any uh, kind of uh, presentation means you can modify those colors so you can go for and format you can use in a background color that is magenta so like that but for this dark to see being that dark so you can use so a lot of things color that you can use so this is going to be a permanent magnet motor so you can use here as an oh this is very dark color so change this color to an orange okay so now it's looking nice so like that your presentation you can give in your own manners okay fine i think so far this is okay so you you know very well about this permanent magnet generators this is the basic things that already we have designed the same output of each and every pulse which is given to your universal bridge okay fine thank you